top of this bulletin we're tracking some latest and insightful updates now this is cnn news 18's mega exclusive where the u.s state department has confirmed that this week taliban is currently holding three u.s citizens in their custody in relation to the killing of al-qaeda's uh, <coughs> emin al-zaviri now in who is already in Taliban captivity now. Currently, George Glesman, Mahmoud Habibi and the Rand Corbett are in their custody. Remember, CNN News 18 told you first about this news over a year ago. These are the latest inputs that we've been tracking from the ground, where in a stunning revelation that could reshape the landscape of international di uh, diplomacy and counterterrorism efforts. Now, joining us on the broadcast is our colleague Akash. A very good morning, Akash. Uh, CNN News 18's Manoj Kumar Gupta has uncovered uh, and gotten us these evidences about Mahmoud Habibi. Take us through all the details that we are garnering from the ground on this report. Right. Uh, so, Kuhina, you see, this is a CNN News 18 mega exclusive where months back we had reported that how several turn of events had indicated that Mahmoud Habibi played a role behind killing of Al Zawahiri. And now it has further been confirmed. Taliban has always claimed that they don't have Mahmoud Habibi's custody. In fact, that they uh, uh, repeated these claims months back. Mm -hmm. But now our investigation editor, Manoj Gupta, uh, you know, is reporting that how a meeting happened between the special envoys of UN personnel and Taliban representatives in Doha and how several discussions were banned from the discussion. Now, uh, you know, Habibi was detained back in 2022 right. uh, with, uh, uh, you know, some other employees of uh, a private company and Taliban believed that the company was involved in targeting, uh, you know, Al-Qaeda senior leader uh, Jawahiri. Uh, also, it is important that, uh, you know, uh, in an interview, uh, in fact, a first interview after all what happened in the Afghanistan, you know, Amrullah, uh, uh, you know, who was the former vice president of Afghanistan, spoke to News 18. And he also had a theory uh, that, uh, you know, uh, the turn of events somewhere indicated that, uh, uh, you know, Habibi played a major role. And this is now has been further confirmed. Right, Akash. Uh, help us also understand uh, the revelations and what is the current condition and treatment of the three detainees in Taliban custody? Do we have any more information about this? Uh, so, as I mentioned earlier, Taliban has always denied uh, the detention of or the custody of, uh, you know, Habibi. Yes, as far as uh, these two other individuals are concerned, so they had accepted that uh, these two individuals were uh, there in their custody. Further, uh, you know, this is important in terms of context uh, that uh, when it is about uh, Al Jawahiri, so we know that how he was killed in uh, a drone strike. Uh, uh, you know, and he was as a key plotter to 9-11 terrorist attacks. And in fact, the second number after, after uh, you know, uh, 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 Osama bin Laden. In fact, after his death, he was the one who was uh, the main target of the United States, given the fact that he was given the charge of Al-Qaeda. And also, uh, you know, we saw that how it was played, uh, you know, in fact, the person played an important role in 9-11 attacks. So U.S., the United States was, in fact, behind uh, him and he was... Uh, um, in fact, further uh, theories indicated that how he played a major role and now this has been further performed. Right, Akash, thank you so much for bringing in all those inputs on this.